and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. Singing today, of course, will be treated to the sausage race and some really good baseball. Yeah, these fans love their Brewers, and I love the way they run the show here in Milwaukee. I mean, the fans are into it. They bring it just about every home game, and there's a lot of fun tradition carried on in this ballpark, as you mentioned. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Corbin Burns. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider... Having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations yeah, where, yeah, yeah maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but got just out. knowing you have the swing and miss stuff here. in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. The pitch. Josh Palacios stands in here, takes ball one low. And the 1 0. Now 1 and 1. And a 1 1. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. And hey. that drops in for a strike. Well, he got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You won't want to throw that one again. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. The pitch. That's, That's a little bit low. Ball Just three. missed. Three ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. Aye. There's the strike. And now the count filled up three and two. And the right hater deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away here in the top of the first. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The 0 1. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Everything came together for him. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now Henry Davis. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Two outs. Just off the outside edge. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, 
he's in a favorable hitters count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next offering is fouled back. That one misses. And now three balls and a strike. There's a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three and two now. Got him looking. Frozen with the heater at the knees. Pirates leave one, and now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. Back after this on the show. here in Milwaukee and on the mound for Pittsburgh in this one Bailey Falter and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know, it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one and now it's William Contreras he's a catcher by trade but the DH here in this one First offering misses the mark. Next offering pop foul off to the right out of play. The one one. Good eye right there. And now it's even up. And now the lefty. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now I'm sure he feels that really good over. about that one. There's the nothing cheap field. about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Set. Cut out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. One down. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Reynolds pulls it in on the run. Tried to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. Willie Adamas stands in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one drifts inside. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Nope. And there's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Yeah, the batter now, Tyrone Taylor. That one misses. That's five straight. First and second, two down. He swings and fouls one off. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Next pitch is outside. Two on, two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. 
fastball and he gets out of the way. Three balls, two strikes to count. And here's a slow roller. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Brewers strand a couple. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go at the plate for Pittsburgh. Alfonso Rivas. The right hander back to work. And ball one. There's a line drive to left field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That pitch clips the outside corner. And that's strike one. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players questioning the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And it's even up. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, now he's got two runners on after that walk and things can get out of hand in a hurry in these situations so he's going to have to find a way to get back into the strike zone. Stepping in Leover Paguero. There's a strike. Right side. And it gets by him. Around third. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Up next for the Pirates, Alika Williams. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's 2-0. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's the catcher, Jason DeLay. Tapper back to the mound. Burns to second, over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three, and that will end the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Pirates two, and the Brewers nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's going to be Andrew Monasterio. 
Andrew. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. All ones the count. That one hit to right. And that's a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. And he's got a leadoff double. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Big Caratini at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Hard hit down the line and left. That one hops against the fence. Runner from second crosses the plate. And it's a one-run game. Safe at second with nobody out. And he represents the tying run. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. This is Bryce Terang. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Next pitch is downstairs. Two strike. Belton fires up the middle and that one handled slings to first that's one out the bottom of the second Batting the center center. Joey Weimer up now for the Brewers and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here that pitch in for a strike and it's 0-1 one away with a runner at third. The next yep, pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Kicks and fires. This one smoked out to left. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. In comes the runner from third. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 1. Strike 1. 0 and 1. Runner at second here, one gone. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ground ball left side. And that one finds its way through. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. 
Here's the Brewers DH. William Contreras. Now snap throw to first. Oh, Yelich dives back in. That's in there. Strike one. Step off throw to first. Yelich gets back easily. And the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. Step off, throw to first. Oh, Yelich back in standing. Another move to first. No, he's and he's back, back again. Again to first. Hey. And no luck this time either. And here it comes. And a count one and two. Still only one out here in the inning. On the ground to first. Could be two. Throws to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Brewers three, and the Pirates two. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and now the center fielder, Josh Palacios. Burns back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Back to the mound. Throw on to Santana, and one away in the top of the third. Brian Reynolds here. Went down on strikes his first time through. Let's go, That's down and in. Counts one and oh. a 1-1. One -one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Three. Goes down looking. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The designated hitter. Andrew McCutcheon hitting third in the lineup. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. Missing inside. Two balls, no strikes. To the right side. Santana Got takes it. it to the bag. That's out number three. Bucks go down quietly. They trail it. 3 2. Back here at American Family Field. Bottom of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee. Carlos Santana. Hawaii to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. 
The wind of the pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. On to first. One gone, bottom of the third Not inning. Not shortstop. Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. He reached out a walk his first time. And that's in there for strike one. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not nope, everyone even ball. realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. The Two right outs, base is empty. 15. Next for Milwaukee, Tyrone Taylor. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. If you're playing right now, tweet out, I was this many days old when I found out the Brewers glove logo is an M and a B. Hashtag MLB to show. Because I guarantee you there are people playing right now that had no idea there was an M and a B in that logo. <laughs> That's a great point. Here's a 1-1. That one found hard the other way. I think it's one of the best all time. An art student at UW Eau Claire created it. It is super creative, and I think one of the better logos we have in the sport. And now it's filled up. We'll see another payoff pitch. Two outs. High fly ball out into left center field. Palacios on his way over. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to inning number four. It's the Brewers three and the Pirates two. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Henry Davis. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Up the middle, Adamas on the run, throw to first. One up, one down. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult the to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Alfonso Rivas, the next pirate to hit. Singled and scored his first time. That one misses, and that is ball one. Yeah, there's the strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. The one two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Got him swinging. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. The walk and a run scored his first time. And that one a little bit high. Uh, 
splits the plate. That's strike one. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. They're down three to two. Welcome back. Ready to go. Ready to go. Bottom four. four. Down the third baseman, the third Andrew baseman. Monasterio. Monasterio. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. And that one is inside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. On the ground to third, Hayes. Tosses across the first, and one gone to the fourth Up as they get the leadoff man. The catcher, Victor. Victor Caratini will hit next. Doubled his first time up. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. It was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Hit hard. That gets through. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now here is Bryce Terang. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. And that one fouled off. pitch that's check swing and that's a ball one and one the one one is fouled off the pitch swing and a miss for the strikeout couldn't catch up to the heater Here's the center fielder, Joey Weimer. One for one with a double and a run score. First pitch, and he just misses. Count one and oh. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was all over that one. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Yelich, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. If he can get through this one, put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. Here comes a pitch. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. 0-2 oh, now. And a base hit up the middle. Caratini around third. He'll score easily. It's 4-2. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two down. Now the number two hitter, William Contreras. Ball one, no strikes.
and a pitch. Right side, hard hit. He handles it himself, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Milwaukee, now here is Leover Paguero. Leover Paguero. And the right hander back to work. There's a strike. You know, these Pirates just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been oh. tough for them to get anything going. Throw on to Santana. One up, one down. And now the shortstop, Alika Williams. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Fires over to oh. first. And a couple of quick outs. Up next is Pirates. The catcher, Jason. Jason DeLay, the next Pirate to hit. 0 for 1 so far. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Whips it across, and the inning is over. Down in order, go the Pirates. Still down by a count of 4-2. to two. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Number 70 appears to be getting loose. Hernandez, the lefty, warming up as well. The wind in the pitch. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch yeah, out. That fastball That's on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And it's one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. On the outside corner, and the count 1 and 2. Off the outside oh, edge, and now the count is 2 and 2. Two two now. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Davis under it. Squeezes it. And there are two down. The right field, right field. number 15. Tyro. Tyro. Two outs, base is empty. Tyrone Taylor getting ready to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
can't get their base hit. Now bad. Derek Shelton no, out of the dugout, and he will make the move. Bailey Falter departs, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with a new pitcher after this break. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Carmen Majinski. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Majinski. Runner at first with two away. Andrew Monasterio now at the plate. One for two. And a curve drops in for a strike. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Ball one low. 0 2 count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. One and two now. And downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Majinski with a move to first. Two two. Way high. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Caratini lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Next offering misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Good hitters count the 2 0. Oh. In there at the knees for a strike. That one in there across the letters. Two two. Good job to fight that one off. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty to the plate. Got him. That is the inning. So a job well done from the Buccos bullpen. Five innings complete. It's the Brewers four and the Pirates two. Top six. And now the Pirates leadoff man, Josh Palacios. Palacios. Burns back to work and there's a curve through for a strike he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball next offering is down low one and one the one one is fouled off
Now he breaks his bat. Monasterio whips it to first on the run. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Brian Reynolds, the next Pirate to hit, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Good eye right there. The one two stays alive. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The one one is fouled off. And a one two again to third Monasterio. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now back. Designated hitter. Andrew McCutcheon. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Pitch misses outside. Ball one. That one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. And the righty deals. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Brewers four and the Pirates two. Well, we go bottom six. Leading now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terrain. The second baseman. Bryce Terrain. The right hander back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Majinski, a 6 2 righty. He features a two seam fastball, a changeup, and he occasionally uses a curve. Jack swing and he held up. The one one is fouled off. Next pitch is popped up. Hayes makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter, the center fielder, Joey Weimer. And now the center fielder, Joey Weimer. And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Ground ball right side. Peguero throws the first. Two up, two down. Well left fielder, number 22. Chris So the lineup flips over. Christian Yelich digs in now. Come on, 
pitch misses inside. One and oh. Right handed reliever on the ground. It's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Two outs, runner at first. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. Ball one there. Contreras in his second season, 25 years old, and he's usually a catcher. Today he gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. That one missing inside. Well, I really like when a guy gets a break like that. He still gets to stay involved in the game. Instead of starting behind the dish, gets to hit, gets to rest a little bit, gets to watch the game from a different perspective. The 2-0 is in for a strike. On the ground to short. They take the force out. That's the inning. One hit, one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Brewers four and the Pirates two. Back here at American Family Field. And now the right fielder, Henry Davis. And a pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Joel Piamps, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Chafin getting cranked up as well. And the right-hander deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And there's a ball. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the out. Now, now, now. The first base is Alfonso Reeves. Here's the first baseman, Alfonso Rivas. That misses the zone, and yeah, that's ball one. Kicks and deals. And yeah, that's outside. And now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Left hand batter waits. And now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Right through there. Got him. Now two out. Now got out. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. Good contact guy, good defender. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. That pitch gets the corner. One and two. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? 
Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. That's Next cool, offering dude. is down low. Tap to first. Santana, he takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. They trail it here, four to two. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. The first baseman, Santana. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. The 0 1. Little chopper rolls foul. Kicks and fires. And nope. that one just missed off the outside edge. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And delivers outside. Swung on, popped up left side. Hayes makes the grab. And there's one away. The bat back. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That's, That's a, a little bit low. Ball one, no strike. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. And a good eye there. Towards first, and that's just foul. Got it by him for the K. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes right off here. speed. Number gets 50. the out. Tyrone. And now it's going to be Tyrone Taylor. One for three. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. At the belt and fires. And now it's oh, even up. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, but they still lead this one four to two. So the Brewers bring on a new pitcher from the pen, Joel Piamps. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now, Leover Piguero. Leading off to the pilot, the second base, Leover Piguero. The wide to kick the pitch. That's off the mark, ball one.
slider clips the zone. And he deals. Fought off foul. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. So up next, Alika Williams. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses the mark. Piams fills up the zone, forces contact. So not a huge strikeout guy, but he's going to make the hitters beat him. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so the pressure is really on the batter to make something happen. No. So two balls and no strikes. But although you like the fact that a you know, guy throws strikes, guy gets contact, and not always great contact, the fact that when you have runners on, if that ball's in play, there's still a good chance that a run gets pushed across, whether it's earned or not. Next one misses three and one now. Command in the zone is such a crucial part of it, right? You know, it's not just throwing strikes, but it's throwing quality strikes. And it's having quality misses as well. What's a quality miss? Missing just off the plate rather than over the plate. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And first offering is fouled off. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 0 2. And that one missing low. Pyans over to first, and he just got his hand in there. The tying run at the plate. Three. Got it. Two gone. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Up next for the Pirates, Josh Palacios. Move to first. Williams back on a dive. Just off the outside edge, and it's one to know. Inside just missed. There's a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Throw to first. Williams back in on a dive. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And a 3-1 on the way. Check swing, got? tried to hold up. Now it appeal to third. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. 3-2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a 3-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a 3-2. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Andrew Chafin enters the game. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. Number 57, Andrew. Take this. 
So two down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Devin Williams up and throwing for manager Craig Council. And now the lefty dribbled up the third baseline. Steps on the bag for the force. Out number three. Pitcher on here, Jose Hernandez. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Up now for Milwaukee, Andrew Monasterio. The third baseman. Andrew Monasterio. The pitch. Inside corner for a strike. 0-1. Oh, and he pumps it a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Do you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Caratini Whoa. at the plate now. That's ball no, one. No, no, no. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Number 70 loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The pitch that misses the zone three balls no strikes well I would expect in this 3-0 count you're taking all the way see if they'll walk you good plate That's appearance ball there ball. able to take the walk definitely lost the handle during that sequence four pitches for now the walk and that last one in. didn't even threaten the zone catcher might want to go talk to him next for the Brewers Bryce Terang Right field, Davis raging back towards the wall, and that ball is gone. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 7 2. to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Pitching change here, number 70. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Digging in, Joey Weimer. First oh, offering, okay. and it just misses. Oh. Check swing, no appeal. Oh. 
Jack Swing went around, and it's two and one now. On the ground to third. Hayes to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's Yelich at the dish. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, to take your game to another level. That one finds the zone. Going one. Pitch. Just oh, off inside. the inside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. On the ground to the left. Hayes to first. Yelich out on the play. Now no, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Two outs, base is empty. So here's the Brewers DH. William Contreras. Ball one and a pitch inside. Gets the call, and it's one and one. And a pitch. Bounce back to the mound, and that chance handled. And he beats it with room to spare. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So, man aboard. Next for Milwaukee, Carlos Santana. Line drive, base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Had a pretty ugly over going into this game up until that at bat. So a little sigh of relief there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now Willie Adamas in there in its own one. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. 0 oh, 2 now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the 0 2. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. The Brewers add three on this blast. Last chance coming up for the Pirates. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now it's the DH, Andrew McCutcheon. The designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch. Chafin, a 6-2 southpaw, he features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. And a pitch. That misses. 2-0. and oh. Movement in the bullpen, Clayton Andrews. Up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Two-zero. Oh. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Here's a 2 1. Just missed.
three one and he couldn't come up with it. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Now it's the right fielder Henry Davis. Well the leadoff man gets on you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. First pitch just misses. And a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next offering is downstairs. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Into left center for a base hit. McCutcheon round second, heads for third. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Now at the plate, Alfonso Rivas. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. Good oh, eye on that spot. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. He came out of his mechanics there, typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. And they're at the knees, and it's 0-1. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Lifted in the air, right field. He's got it. Two down. Leover Paguero will hit next. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. On the ground to third. On to first. Ball game. A real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7 2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.